first thing here, I'm just going to be taking this oil filter off. Looks like it's going to be four uh, 10 millimeter uh, bolts and uh, two eight millimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and get those taken off and uh, show you what this pump looks like when I get it off. All right, y'all got my bolts out of it. So I'm fixing to take it to loose here. All right, y'all, I got this uh, pump off. And uh, just looking at it, you know, I don't see no teeth on the gears broke or anything, but that doesn't mean the pump ain't worn. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this new pump put on and uh, see what it does. Y'all, I'm fixing to uh, lube up these uh, gears before I uh, put this pump on. I'm just using engine, engine assembly lube. You can use oil or anything you have. Uh, I'm just using some of this here and uh, it's just going to help out during the initial crank up until that pump gets primed up. putting some of this engine assembly lube on this uh, oil pump shaft. Just lubing it up there a little bit and I cleaned the surface off so I'm fixing to get ready to put the new pump up there. All right y'all, right here, this bottom gear right here, it's got a hole in it, the oil pump shaft. You'll see right here, it slides right up in there, that shaft does. So you may have to turn it a little bit there till it locks in. And then just go ahead and slide that pump up there into place. You got two dial pins that sets it in place there, it locks it in. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start my boat. Just telling y'all about that oil pump shaft. You know, it's got uh, five sides on it. Uh, that's another thing, you just wanna be sure that the shaft itself is not worn before you uh, put your new pump on. But I want to show you right here this uh, gear you might not have seen in the uh, video there. But this is where the uh, oil pump shaft slides in this gear right here. It's the only one that's actually got the hole in it. So it's no mistake in which one it goes in. But I just want to show you. I put uh, right anti-seize on all my boats. Because I noticed uh, some of them had a little bit of uh, corrosion there. So I went ahead and put some anti-seize back on all my boats before put them in the pump here. And I'm just going to go and uh, get them all tightened up and uh, get my filter on there and get my oil changed. And we'll see if it fixes a the problem there. All right, I'm having to put a Fram filter on it. I normally put Motocraft, but I went to Walmart and they didn't have Motocraft in stock. And... Uh, so I just went ahead and got this Fram. I don't drive my truck too much anymore, so hopefully this filter here be all right. Um, the oil pump I put on yesterday, it did not fix the problem. The um, gauge still went to uh, all the way down uh, after it ran probably about five to seven minutes after it got warmed up there. And uh, so um, what I did today, I went ahead and hit my oil pressure gauge up to it and cranked up and it had like 80 psi oil pressure uh when it's cold and when it got fully warmed up it was about 23 to 25 psi 
So it leads me to believe that this uh, oil pressure sending unit or sensor here is bad. So I went and picked up a new one. And uh, I picked this up from AutoZone. The part number is PS407. And uh, I'm fixing to install that. So I believe that should take care of my problem. Just a uh, faulty uh, oil pressure switch, more likely. This did have oil leaking inside, so it needed to be replaced. And my engine's got, like I say, like, right at 259,000 miles on it. So um, putting the oil pump on it is probably uh, uh, not a bad idea, even though that was not the problem. That's running about 72 pounds of oil pressure. And the engine's not completely cold right now. I just cranked it up and uh, showing uh, still a little warm there. So as the engine warms up, the oil pressure is going to uh, drop down. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like uh, when it gets completely warmed up. This is uh, completely warmed up. And uh, this is with one quart of Lucas in it. And at idle now, it's running about 34 PSI. And before, uh, it was running about 23 to 25 PSI with just 10W30 motor oil in it. So uh, putting the Lucas in it, one quarter Lucas, actually increased the, uh, the uh, oil pressure, uh, you know, about 10 PSI there. So uh, I guess one could argue maybe I just have a little bit of wear in my bearings there or just increase the viscosity. Either way, the oil pressure did increase. So, uh, so uh, I guess that's a good thing. Got my oil uh, pressure sending uh, unit or switch on right here. Some people call it a switch. Some call it a sending unit. But uh, it goes right here. It's just right above your oil filter housing. And just got this uh, one uh, wire clip right here. Take off. And uh, the one I took off original, I think it was like a 1 and 1 16th of an inch. And the one I got from AutoZone is, uh, it took a 13 sixteenths socket, deep well socket to put it back on. So, uh, just want to let y'all know that and, uh, fixing to uh, go inside and crank it up and, uh, see how it does as far as my oil pressure hand there. Here is up to normal operating temperature. And here's my oil pressure, uh, hand right here. It's running normal now. You got normal uh, temperature, so it's up temperature and it's holding. Before, it'd be dropping right down in that red on the low side until you rev it up. And then it would uh, uh, go back up to normal. And then it just drop back down when it let your foot off of it. But, uh, so, this has fixed the problem. I believe the problem was, was the uh, oil pressure switch uh, all along. Um, what I should have did, I should diagnose the problem to begin with uh, with my oil pressure gauges, but I just went ahead and put that oil pump on it, hope, hoping that was it. That's not the way to do it, y'all, so don't do as I do. Uh, do it the correct way. Uh, check your oil pressure first. But anyway, the oil pressure, uh, it was about uh, 75 to 80 pounds uh, with a new pump on it. I uh, went on the code uh, when I first cranking up code. Then when it warmed up, uh, it went down to about 23 to 25 PSI and uh, that's enough oil pressure I believe at idle it should not have turned that light on like it was doing I mean you know uh, if it was like say five six pounds something like that seven maybe eight I don't know really what how they regulate the switch uh, I can see that turning the light on and the hand dropping all the way down but 23, 25 PSI wouldn't, shouldn't have turned that light on. So it leads me to believe that all the problem was was just that sanding unit was bad. But now I do have a new pump on it, oil pump. And uh, so uh, should be good to go. And um, y'all see me, I added that Lucas. And I should have showed y'all the oil pressure with just the oil in it. I'm running 10W30 oil. Uh, it was 23 to 25 PSI, completely warmed up. And I put that Lucas in it and it raised up about 10 psi about 34 35 psi uh completely warmed up so uh, we could probably say it may have a little wear in my bearings uh, i don't get no knock or anything like that um, i think that's mainly uh also you know anytime you put lucas in it's going to raise the viscosity of your oil up so uh, you kind of should expect a increase in your oil pressure anyway but um I'm happy uh, that, that fixed my problem. Uh, it's doing good now. 
Um, didn't find much on it online, you know. I was trying to see, you know, uh, just, you know, that's I guess what a lot of people do, see what they can find out before they actually go in there and start taking everything apart. But um, the, the correct way of doing it, y'all, just get your oil pressure gauge, check your oil pressure, and go from there. Um, like, like I say, it could be an oil pump sometime, or it could be an oil pr uh, pressure sending a unit switch, or it could be something else. It could be, you know, your bearing clearance is, is just worn in your engine, and you got a lot of clearance there, and it's dropping your oil pressure because the light come on. Or it could be that um, oil pump spring uh, regulator uh, valve. Um, I think it's in there behind your valve, uh, your front timing cover. Now that's going to be my next step. Um, is you know was to place that if you know if I had low oil pressure when I checked this morning. But uh, once I seen that my oil pressure wasn't really that low, I knew it had to be something else. So uh, maybe this video will help y'all, y'all. Uh, uh, like I say, it wasn't much on there, and I thought I'd do a quick video of it. And uh, if y'all got any questions, whatever, just uh, leave me a comment down below, and I'll try to help you out the best I can. And as always, friends, from my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day. Appreciate y'all watching the videos. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.